everyone, Gamer Girl of Gotham, aka Katie, here with a few words on my up and coming roleplay, Crystal Kingdom. First of all, a starting date has been chosen May 12th. That is the day that the main plot of the roleplay will begin. Now, if if this date is somehow a problem for you, please just go ahead and send me a message and I'll, 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 I'll talk to you about it, okay? I'm not sure exactly what time it will take place. I'll definitely make sure that it's an earlier time so those of you that are in different time zones will have a chance to participate because this is a heavily important plot day and will set the basis for the entire role play so I would prefer it if everyone was there but it's okay if you can't make it because on the forum I will have a thread with an a, a paragraph synopsis type of thing of what is happening throughout the role play that I will update continuously for anyone who needs to be AFK for any amount of time. Another quick notice, I hate to do this, but there will be no more royal characters allowed in Crystal Kingdom. The only reason I do this is because we got a lot more royal characters than I had originally intended, and not near enough mages or knights or anything like that that are also very important to the plot. Now, those of you who aren't at your character limit yet, you're more than welcome to bring in new characters. Just please don't make them royals. In fact, your characters have a lot more likelihood of being approved if they're mages or knights. And a couple other little bits of information I feel you guys should be privy to. As for the rating of this roleplay, this roleplay will be a PG-13 rating, so you can get your let your characters be getting all hot and heavy and heady in the corner. Just, if they get too bad, please, please send them to a PM, because it's kind of awkward for some of us, and kind of makes us uncomfortable. And also, characters will die in this roleplay. I'm sorry to say, I'm just bringing this up now so there are no hurt feelings later. I will let you know if a character will die during a plot, and your characters will have a chance to fight for their life, but there is the inherent likelihood that they will die. There is a revival process, it's very, very complicated, and so I'm not going to go into it right now, but there are intense, intense ramifications to this process, which again I'll go into later. So it's really up to you if you want to risk it to get this character back. You are also allowed to bring in a character to replace said dead character upon my approval. Now, these last couple of things I'm going to ask you guys as the admin of the roleplay, but also as a friend to a lot of you guys. <laughs> At least I'm hoping so. First of all, please, please don't make your relationships the main focus of your role playing. I mean, your character will need much more than a lover to survive in the kingdom. They'll need friends and allies, powerful people. So please don't focus all of your attention on your character's romantic interest because that will come back to bite you in the butt. And role playing is more fun when your character branches out and develops a lot of different relationships with a lot of different people. And it can generally make the role-playing experience more fun because when other people are getting a plot happening to them, instead of you sitting there bored waiting for your character to get plot, a lot of times you can characterize your own character as feeling worried for this person or it can... Building relationships involves everyone in a plot because it allows their characters to freak out and want to help this person too. I also ask... If you're going to be away for a while, please, please, for the love of God, tell me. Find some way, text message, PM, anything. Please tell me when and why you will be gone. Not out of any, like, oh, get your ass back to my role play. I understand that real life can get in the way. Just please don't make me worry. I love you guys. You're all incredibly good friends of mine, and I don't want to have to worry about you guys and where you are or what's happened to you. 
And also, if I do have a plot planned for you and your character, I'd like to know if you're going to be away so I can move on to other things and then bring your plot back up once you're back. Because if everyone's sitting around waiting for someone, it kind of slows down the roleplay a little bit. I also want you guys to be honest with me. I want you guys to tell me how I'm doing as an admin because I'm still relatively new at this and I want to make the most fun and entertaining roleplay that I can. So if you guys feel a little overwhelmed or if I'm not, you know, plotting enough or anything like that, just please, please tell me. I mean, don't, don't, for the love of God, don't believe, don't be feel afraid to come to me about if you're confused or you don't know what your character should be doing, please. Trust me, I know that feeling of feeling like you'd be an idiot if you asked an admin what you were supposed to be doing. It's not, I won't feel like you're an idiot or anything. I will happily and calmly explain to you everything that is going on and try to make what I'm doing as clear as possible. Okay, so please don't be afraid to be honest with me. I love you guys, and I take it as a good thing when you guys are honest with me. Uh, well, I guess that's it, really. Um, so yeah, you guys have the starting date. You have my conditions on the characters. So I guess that's really it. I'm, except to say thank you guys. I'm incredibly flattered that so many people are so excited about this roleplay, and I'm literally making delighted squeaking noises every time I log on and see people's characters and their amazing signatures and it's just it thank you thank you it it means a lot to me and your guys's your guys's support and love is going to make this an awesome role play so just just thank you you guys you guys are the best and I'm so blessed to have all of you as my friends